It's 10 totally random trivia questions from a bunch of trivia cards my brother Tom sent me for Christmas with my friend Ali Mize. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show and thank you for leaving all these great iTunes reviews. I am very thankful for those because they help more people find out about the show when they search the word trivia. So keep doing that to your heart's content. And if you like trivia questions and writing trivia questions, always looking for content, send me some. Send stuff my way. You can email me, ryanbuds at gmail.com anytime if you come up with a cool quiz or an idea for an episode of the show. No topic is too weird or too random. Some big uh, contributors to the show are my friends Luke McKay, Brian Salyer, and my older brother Scott Buds, and dozens more of you who send me different stuff every single day. So thank you for doing that in advance, and thank you for doing that all the time. I am looking for some unique Family Feud style questions for some live events I'm doing of the Family Feud Persuasion around Los Angeles these days. So if you come up with any cool survey-related Family Feud questions and you want to uh, send those my way, I would love to hear them. Send them to ryanbuds at gmail.com. Today's episode is recorded at Ogo Pogo Brewing in San Gabriel, California with my friend Allie Mize. She's going to sit down with me in just a second and answer some questions from these pop culture cards so you can play along with her and see if you can get better than the 7 out of 10 she proposes and then the 3 out of 10 that she ends up with. We're going to jump into those questions right now. Here we go. I'm sitting here at Ogo Pogo Brewing in San Gabriel, California with my friend and the manager here. Is that what your title is? The manager? Tasting room manager. Tasting room manager. And Ellie coordinator. Mize. What's up, Ellie? Hey, Ryan Bud. Thanks, Thanks for friends. being on my show. You've been on the show a bunch of times before. Yeah. And uh, now we're doing video every single day. So people get to see your beautiful face once again. Uh, tell us about the beer here at Ogo Pogo Brewing. I mean, it's all delicious. We actually have an award-winning beer right now, Belgian White. We got silver at the Great American Beer Festival, and we have 18 beers on as we speak. Yeah. And we've got a new one coming out. It's a pastry sour with raspberries, and then we're also adding wine in the next month. So. Ooh, that's going to be awesome. Cider's Not a lot of breweries have cider and wine, so yep. that'll be very unique for San Gabriel. Yes. Uh, we are doing bingo here every Friday night for over a year now at 7 to 9 p.m., and we're also doing a special event we could plug on March 7th, I think it is, Saturday, March 7th, Friday. Friends trivia, all friends themed if you like the TV show Friends. So check those out on triviawithbuds.com. And is it ogopogobrewing.com? Ogopogobrewco.com. Brewco.com if you want to see those beers, if you're a big beer fanatic like I am. We are going to do uh, 10 questions uh, on just pop culture questions. This is from a game my brother sent me for Christmas. Uh, my family members like to send me different trivia games that they just find on Amazon and stuff. So this is kind of a fun one, and uh, you're just going to write down the answers to these questions. You can kind of talk through them without giving away the answer so people can play along watching and listening, okay? Perfect. All right, let's see how many you can get out of 10. What do you think you can get out of 10? Totally random Seven. questions. Seven out of ten. Ooh, very strong. Here we go. It's also my favorite number. There you go. Me too. I win on seven and eight when I play roulette. Those oh, are my numbers. Oh, I've never gambled, but I will. You've never gambled? One time I played blackjack in Reno, which was... Not fun. I put down uh, <laughs> five bucks and I won 15, so really I walked away with ten and I said that's enough for me. For your entire life? Yep. That's enough for my life. Love it. I wish I had that kind of control. Here's question number one. <laughs> what line of exercise equipment is promoted by Chuck Norris and Christy Brinkley? Question number one. What line of exercise equipment is promoted by Chuck Norris and Christy Brinkley? Do you work like, out a lot? You're pretty fit. Uh, no. I just no. weighed myself um, on our scale for grain. Yeah. And uh, I weigh the heaviest I've ever weighed in my life. 90 pounds. One, Not even. One, well, yesterday it was 122.5 and today it was 126.1. So I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I have no I idea. Got. They're going to be calling you to sponsor Weight Watchers in no time with that kind of crazy weight. Fluctuation, yeah. It's only going up, though. It's not going back down. So that's number one. What is the line of exercise equipment promoted by Chuck Norris and Christy Brinkley? I feel like a dummy because we were just talking about this. Mm -hmm. Question number two. In 2009, what show became the first soap opera to have a same-sex wedding? Number two. In 2009, was the first soap opera that ever had a same-sex wedding? Do you watch a lot of soap operas? Nope. (laughs) I just know the name of some. Do you? Do your anybody in your family watch stories as they call them? Uh, I think, I think my, my I think my mom did when I was growing up and I yeah. was little and I would just see the the 
how it was shot and it kind of looked foggy all the time. Yeah. It was like you could tell the props were totally <laughs> fake plastic. And I used to watch a lot of teen soap operas like uh, The O.C. and oh, 90210 and all those the CW, WB shows. Oh, man. All right. Gossip Girl. Oh, yeah. Look out. Pretty Little Liars. Number yes. three. What advertising slogan did Wendy start using in 1984? I know that was before you were born, but I thought, I thought I'd still ask you. Number three, what advertising slogan did Wendy start using in 1984? Number three, you said? That's number three. Question number four. What film follows the hijinks of best friends Finch, Jim, Kevin, and Oz in their final year of high school? Number four. What film follows the hijinks of best friends Finch, Jim, Kevin, and Oz in their final year of high school? Can I get a hint of what year it came out? It's a comedy from the late 90s. Oh, Lord. Number four. Oh, okay, I'll come back to that. All right. Number five. What singer is nicknamed the chairman of the board? What famous singer has the nickname of the chairman of the board? I'm not getting seven right. That's for dang sure. <laughs> Uh, the chairman of the board. I, don't I actually had never heard this before I read it on the card, but I guess it's... I, I've heard of people having that nickname, but not this specific singer. Okay. Number six, what late night host once worked as a writer on The Simpsons? What late night talk show host was a writer on The Simpsons? It's not too many choices to choose from here. There's only like maybe a dozen or Does so. Does David Letterman still count? He would be uh, a late night host, yeah. But, but I don't I don't see him being a writer for The Simpsons. It wasn't Letterman. I'll give you that hint. Was it one of the Jimmies? It was a late night host. I Dang! <laughs> All right. Uh. Number seven. What 90s supermodel trademarked the mole above her lip? Ooh. What 90s supermodel trademarked the mole above her lip? You got a good guess on that one? Well, yeah, I've got a mole on my chin. Is it trademarked? Should be. Shit. Allie's mole, TM. Well, we don't I call just it moles. It. We, we call them beauty marks. I just trademarked it. I technically own that now on your face. You can have it. It grows hair. I have to pluck it. <laughs> All Sorry. good moles grow hair. Uh, oh, that should be a t-shirt. Number <laughs> a gross t-shirt they'd sell at Venice Beach. <laughs> number nine. No, number eight. eight. Who's the mascot for Fruit Loops? What is the name of the mascot for Fruit Loops? I don't know how to spell the first part, mm -hmm. which is crazy because I'm really smart. Mm -hmm. I believe it. <laughs> number nine. What's the name of the third Hunger Games trilogy book? The third book in the Hunger Games trilogy. I listened to these as books on tape driving around the Midwest, and I did not like this book. I thought it was real dumb for liking the first two books, rather. What is the name of the third Hunger Games trilogy book? Number 10, last question. What bread was advertised during the 60s with the slogan, helps build strong bodies in 12 ways? What bread said that they could build strong bodies in 12 ways? What bread? Those are all your questions. Allie, you're not feeling so confident out of seven not anymore, at huh? all. What do you think you got now, now that you've heard the questions out of ten? One, two, three. Three out of ten? <laughs> we'll see if she can beat a 30% when we come back in just a second with the answers. Back with the answers to random pop culture trivia from some cards my brother Tom sent me. Thank you, Tom, for the great Christmas gift and always looking out for me in a trivial way. Allie is uh, hoping to get better than 3 out of 10, right? Let's see how she did. Question number one, what line of total exercise equipment is promoted by Chuck Norris and Christy Brinkley? What would you write? I didn't because, didn't no, I know it's not the Bowflex and I know it's not the Thighmaster. It's called, like, Home something. It's the Total Gym. Dang yeah, it. the Total Gym. It is similar to, like, the Home Gym kind of uh, feel. You almost had it. Number one. Number two, in 2009, what show became the first soap opera to have a same-sex wedding? I said, do I say it? Yeah, you can say it. I said Days of Our Lives. That's a great guess. It was All My Children. Dang it! All My Children. Those are I, the, literally the only two ones that I know. I couldn't tell you the difference between those two. Or I General don't... Hospital, except that that's in a hospital, maybe. Wait, it wasn't General Hospital with with uh, George Clooney? I th no, that was ER. Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> listen, I was born in January of 1991, okay, so. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Number three, what advertising slogan did Wendy start using in 1984? Fresh, never frozen. Where's the beef? They do, they do use that Damn slogan it. now, fresh, never frozen. Oh. So you're thinking more recently, but where's the beef, if you've ever heard that from Wendy's 84? I was so 84. confident. That was before I was born. Number four, yeah. what film follows the hijinks of best friends Finch, Jim, Kevin, Oz, Kevin and Oz in their final year of high school. Any Finch, guesses on Finch that Finch is the one that, uh, that bones the mom. Yes. You know this movie? I you do. You know that scene? I do, I do. American Pie. Yeah. 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 They've made a bunch of those. American Pie. Yeah, they're ridiculous. And some weird straight-to-video spin-offs like American Pie Bandcamp. Number five. What singer is nicknamed the chairman of the board? Any guesses there? No. It's Frank Sinatra. Oh, oh Old I, knew, blue I actually eyes knew that. And the chairman of the board, Oh, man, I now guess. you say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Number six, what late night host once worked on The Simpsons? Who'd you write? Jimmy something? Jimmy Kimmel. It was uh, Conan, Conan O'Brien. Oh. He was a writer on some of the best seasons early on. I think that seasons makes, four and five of The I Simpsons. I know that because one of my regulars and my friends, Will, used to work on The Conan Show. And he, oh, yeah. He told me that not too long ago that he used to be a Simpsons writer. So. What did you do on The Conan Show? I think he just like fanned people. Oh, I thought, you said, I thought you said you did too. Oh, me? No, no. no. Oh, gotcha. No. Just handing out some free swag. Love yeah. it. Very cool. Number nine, what 90s supermodel trademark the mole above her lip? Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford from, I think, Hinsdale, Illinois, not far from where I grew up, which is crazy. Uh, number eight, who's the mascot for Fruit Loops? Toucan Sam. Toucan Sam. You did get that one. Nice job. Toucan Sam. Fruit Loops, notoriously spelled the wrong way. F R O O T. Yep. Did you know that? Yep. Mm-hmm. Number nine, what's the name of the third Hunger Games Mocking trilogy? Jay. Yes, it is Mocking Jay for the Hunger Games trilogy. Nice job. And number 10, what bread says will change your body in 12 ways? I said Roman meal. I don't know what that is. What? Uh, Wonder it's the orange bread. bag. Oh, it, yeah? See, I thought it was going to be Wonder Bread, but I'm like, that is so white. <laughs> like, there's no nutrients in it. It's yeah. just a whole bunch of bleached I think they were flour. Pro- I think they were just like, eh, it's got a vitamin. You oh, know. like when Wonder cigarettes bread. used to not be bad for you and same right. with cocaine. Yeah, how about that? That was medicine. Throw it in some Coca-Cola, mix it up, you're good to go. Allie, I think you got four out of ten. Two, three. Did you get five? One, no, two, I, I got I got three. You I did was get cor- three out of ten. I was correct. Very good. Felt well, it in my bones. You learned some stuff. You had some fun. Anything you want to promote coming up here at Oga Pogo Brewing? Uh, I would like to push the Friends trivia. That's going to be a blast. Ryan's the best host. I'm Thank sure you. Some it's of you have seen that before. A good, um, good time. Come in on Fridays. We do bingo seven to nine every Friday. It's a hoot and a holler. We have food vendors. Uh, play some good tunes. Ryan has a really fun country bingo round. <laughs> you hate country music. I I hate it. I have country. not used it here since you told me how much you hate it. Yeah, that and the book round. That one's really difficult. I live a little further out east where they love the country bingo. Yeah, he's in the IE. The so. IE, the Inland Empire. That's where they like those things out there, all <laughs> twang and whatnot. Well, very cool, Allie. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you for having me, Ryan. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, that was today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching and playing along. We have one more question for you. The question of the day brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. What band's third album was called Slippery When Wet? Send me your answer to win a prize at Ryan Buds on Twitter or email RyanBuds at gmail.com. Your yesterday's answer to the yesterday's uh, question of the day was Phil Donahue for the first talk show host that had audience interaction. And your trivia team name of today is Super Smash Eskimo Brothers. Super Smash Eskimo Brothers. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers. (laughs) 